sun, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, suns and moons. And of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate the likes, the donations, the shares, the confirmations you send me through email. The positive energy, you show me the positive energy, you show yourself and overall the positive way you show up in the planet. Now, with that being said, let's get in there like a swimwear. Shh. We're cooking up something in the kitchen, Bob Zitchin. Now, let me explain something here before I move on, right? Uh, you seen the cut on the deck, right? Now, I had started to read it, but I had to stop, right? And so, before uh, I move on, I want to explain that cut, okay? Somebody is facing judgment from some sort of betrayal. Somebody's also gaining clarity over somebody that was in competition with you or that was trying to pass judgment on you. This is someone that is a spiritual bully, physical bully. They have a disgruntled demeanor. This is somebody that's still learning the repercussions of their actions, how they show up in the world, all right? They're very en enthusiastic. Now, the energy I'm getting off of this is an adapt, right? But of course, there's a page. Page it usually talks about children. But why I say adapt is this was someone that is mesmerized by their capabilities. So they're still learning. So this is someone that acts out of haste, whether if they're a child, uh, a childish person, could be grown, could be uh, elderly. This is someone that, hey, they realize they could cook something up and they ran with it here. So I'm here a non-believer. This is somebody that operates in secret. Somebody's doing something in secret. Now I shared a series of videos on my community tab. Guarantee you, you me. This, this reading is going to play out in regards to that. Some sort of action that someone did in secret or is planning to do. At the last reading, it talked about, this is behind the scenes, so I'm going to go ahead and fill you in, right? It talked about someone that is ready to get in the game. They're ready to play the game, you know? So this is somebody that likes drama, a lot of chaos, right? They like, oh, you know, I want to make a little quick change off of doing something strange. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got the king of coins here. Is they doing something strange to the king of coins? King of coins came out in the last reading. Okay, so we're talking about husband material. At least somebody thinks they are husband material. This is someone that got a lot of people competing for their attention. Discord. They like it. They like it. Which brings me to another point. Before I turned on the camera, <laughs> somebody's in a throttle. Mm -hmm. Somebody's mesmerized by somebody's capabilities. Maybe they swipey. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody may like somebody's cooking. <laughs> I'm going to add you on to Dame here. Let's see what's up under here. Oh, the magician manifestation. Scorpio, what you trying to manifest? <laughs> Somebody said, oh, Scorpio. They're telling them Scorpio. This, this may be a masculine Scorpio. It could be a feminine in their masculine energy. Uh, Somebody is, uh, dis they, 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 dis they disgruntled. There's some discordism, you know, popping off. Maybe actually somebody may be doing some stuff, sharing some messages in the Discord, the DMs and all of that, trying to manifest something here. I feel like this is a father figure, but it could be two different individuals. This is giving me someone that is seen as husband material because they are a good provider. They could provide for you or you can provide for possibly multiple people. Okay. Um, but people in their past may view this, they may say, like if, they, if they're, they're kind, maybe they get a little few coins from this person they may say this is a better father than a husband come on through y'all know what i'm talking about come on now y'all know what i'm talking about 
some people. You may feel like this person lacks maturity. Mm, mm, mm. If you are a king of pentacles and you know, look, you know, you got children here. You know, you on the upper up. I'm not saying that you're perfect, but you know that, uh, you know, you've done th some things and you try to do some things better. You know, they, they say that the karma always hits you when you try to change your life. That's why people, you know, choose to stay in a low vibration because they think they're going to get over. You know, and then, uh, and then when they up in that wheelchair, oh, wheelchair. I mean, them older days, ooh, child. Um, that didn't mean to say that, uh, they start, you know, want to give their life over, you know, that whole front. Oh, I lost my train of thought. This could be about your child, somebody that you have a child with, or this is about your child. So we got somebody who's in bondage. Okay. And then they, 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 they trapped here. This be is about becoming out every breed and. Mm, mm, mm. Now, you know, obviously, this is Capricorn energy, but this is giving me all signs, all the signs that have horns. Was that Aries, uh, Cap, Taurus? Take it out, resonate. Seven of coins about your investments. Boy, somebody invested in bondage. Oh, somebody. Somebody has some extracurricular activities since the King of Wands here. Mm -hmm. Shout out to those of you that appreciate my sense of humor. You know, I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. Now we're going to go ahead and get into the intro. Now, you know, I got a doppelganger, copycat, a replica, a clone. I want to be me, but try and do it better than me. An English professor, a WhatsApp bandit, and a voodoo high fleece. Our police that's all floating through that comment section. But also got a lot of love. That voodoo high priest or priestess is promising to get your love back for a small fee of $39.99. All you got to do is sign your life away on the dotted line. Do not fall for the okie doke people. If you have to bend someone's will for them to be with you or for you to be with them, they don't need you. You definitely don't need them. This is past, present, or future energy. Parts may resonate with you. Parts may not. Take what's for you and leave the rest. This could be somebody in your environment, someone thinking of you, you are thinking of them, an ex, a co-worker, a boss, a past over loved one. You may or may not know these individuals. Any and all information that you need about me. Oh, look at that. Our gardener's reading shall be in the description box below. Include the link where you can copy and paste that in your browser and receive a free birth chart from a reputable site. No affiliation. Made. So now moving on to the thropo energy. Somebody's fine. Somebody's thinking about coming through and speaking some real harsh truth that possibly give them it. Well, I ain't going to say this could be a half truth. It could be a half truth. You know, for some of you, it's a lie because, you know, to be fair, this is a page of swords here. Somebody lied on you. Uh, somebody entertained the lie. Somebody got caught up in the line that got confronted. Take it how it resonates. This is somebody that participated in multiple betrayals to you or people in their environment. That's what they're known for. You know, we're talking about the King of Wands for some of y'all. You know, this is somebody that's very creative or they have an urge to create. This is somebody that's passionate, very attractive. You know, you, when you're around the King of Wands, you know, it's the, the, what they call a, a, a panty dropper. All right, look at that five of coins sticking out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And the lovers, ooh, somebody met their match. Somebody got left out in the cold here. Is this somebody that participated in some sort of debauchery from you? Yeah, this is somebody that held back from you. You held back from this person. Take it out, it resonates. Did I say let's get in there like swimwear? Let's get in there like a swimwear. Mm -hmm. So definitely, we, we, we're speaking on a marriage. <laughs> we're speaking on a marriage here. We've seen the King of Pentacles and the King, the Queen of Pentacles when we, well, when I split the deck, right? If it's not an actual marriage, this is a couple that gets money together. I'm talking about some shmoney. They could build an empire. <sighs> we got the Nine of Wands. Somebody, ooh, somebody got a headache. A migraines here. So hopefully they don't pick up that stick and hit nobody with it. This could be somebody that you've met along your pathway. This could be somebody upset with you because you, you know, 
you left them footing the bill or holding the bill or something like that. Okay. Teamwork makes the dream work with Three of Wands being here. We're talking about growth and expansion, possibly travel. It could be a team of people that's in this energy. A team of people that you work with. Uh, a team of people that was working against you. Okay, we got the Empress here. You know this Empress here. This, this Empress is pregnant. Now, you don't have to necessarily be with child. For some of you, you already have a child with this person. Because, uh, <laughs> heck, we is talking about the King of Wands, you know. You could have two children with this person. You know, a, children may be, a child may be at question here. Mm. This could also be something that you're giving birth to. Ooh. The Knight of Cups, child. Knight of Cups came. Oh, I didn't even see. Now, look at there. <laughs> oh, this is giving me every much polygamy, polyamory, you know, alternative lifestyle. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. Am I supposed to? Yeah, I guess I am. Why? Why ask why? You know, I was going to say why me, but I ain't even going to be, I ain't even going to go there. Even show me what it is I need to see. So if somebody's enchanted by this king of wands, maybe they are a sorceress, witch warlock, take it how it resonates. Maybe they're working with, whoa, wow. Maybe they're working with one. Or a few. You know, we talking about a throuple here. Throuple. Somebody wants to come in. I feel like this would be someone... That lives an alternative lifestyle. Let's just put it that way. Maybe this person wants a child. But they're not necessarily attracted to the person that they want this child with. But this is a soulmate. For some of you, this is somebody that you had a child with. And they left you out in the cold. Okay? Mm -hmm. They came in and charmed you. Yeah, to heal some of you, you're into meditation. And while I'm here, right, I was looking at some of my older readings. Some of y'all was probably like, is he up in there smoking them? I ain't even going to go. I used to do deep meditations before I would get into these readings, right? Deep meditations. And so I noticed, I noticed that when I was uh, looking, I was like, man, come on now. Boy, you sound like you on a, another planet here. I possibly was. I possibly was. Let's see. Oh, uh, I said I was going to use. Well, no. Bear with me while I get the deck that I want to use. All right. So we got the King of Wands. Somebody that's passion, passionate, creative, charming, alluring, magnetic. This is, this is the guy that'll get who they want. And I'm going to say guy because I'm, I'm, you know, you know, of course, this could be a woman, but it's a lot of masculine energy. If this is a woman, this is a woman that operates uh, most definitely in their masculine energy. Oh, somebody's picking up on some deception here. You got the king of cops, the king of swords and the king of one. Is this a, a this is a masculine coven? <laughs> oh, man. They have some sort of uh, foundation together. Group. Frat. Something like that. Why is the King of Wands here? Either show me what it is I need to see. <laughs> the sign card. And the star in reverse. It just, you know, so somebody has a little bit of fame here. Somebody wants to be famous. Somebody wants a renewal. They may also be asking for forgiveness from you or from the divine with the sun card being here. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Okay, this is character development. Let's see. <laughs> um, somebody's been brought to their knees. This is give me a uh, pray on it. Wait for it. Um, energy. Did you bring somebody to their knees? Somebody's waiting for a window of opportunity here. King of Wands, why is this here? You can show me what it is I need to see. This one, that, you know, this reverse. It, it came out like this, right? So this is somebody that was a part of 
some manipulation tactics. This is someone that is a bully. They're abusive to people in their environment, in their relationship. They abuse their authority. This is someone that uh, went against you. Okay. This was not a fair brawl here. This was unfair. Yeah. Um, what's this? Six of one. Yeah. So they wanted the victory for some of you. You may have wanted the victory with this person. Okay. And they took you for granted. Right. Uh, with the five of swords being here. Um, I feel like this king of wands could be you or could be about a past person of yours. Um, they want peace now. They want peace. Mm -hmm. They may be getting confronted about something that they did in the past. Something to gain a victory. Open the door to abundance. What is this here? Oh, yeah. Three of swords. They definitely getting confronted. Okay. This person may want to confront you. They may want to apologize here. They took a loss. They're healing from it. You know, this is a rebirth for this person. The unalive card on the fence. Why is this here? Somebody feels stuck. Stuck in a partnership. You know, obviously they wanted somebody to be stuck. Uh, somebody could be having a headache. The music may be too loud at this celebration. Or something in their mind has them conflicted, okay? And or some, they keep playing events in their mind. This is surrounding their uh, foundation here. Maybe that's what it took for, to bring this person to, like, Check their ego. This has something to do with family, friends, a collaboration. And here we have, why, why, why I keep getting all these, on these? I was going to say on the live cards, but yeah, on the live cards. But not only that, they could be working with a Scorpio. And I want to say Aquarius, but it could be. A Gemini or Libra. So, what is this? That looks like the Eight of Swords in reverse. Say it ain't so. Um, somebody is getting a second chance. Somebody's being liberated and freed. Okay, so this is why they're going through a rebirth. And but I, I'm confused about boom. Okay, so they having to start over. Okay. Um, if they opened up their environment to people, these people quickly became a headache. Or if they started working with people, these people quickly became a headache. With the page of coins here, we're definitely speaking about practicalities. Mm -hmm. An investment. Um, for somebody, it's a change in somebody's finances. So they, they may have to start from the bottom. Yeah. Um, this is surrounding the contract with the soulmate. The tower, why is this here? Ethan, show me what it is I need to see. Too many cards. I ain't even going to look at them. Just going to slide them up under. But we, 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 Ten of Cups. Now, we got that Ten of Cups energy. Contract, marriage, support, the tower. Uh, unexpected upheaval or unexpected change. Let's see. Tower. Oh, hoo -hoo, somebody was trying to manifest. A marriage, a contract here. Wish fulfillment. Hmm. They wanted you to compete for a position. Put the five uh, wands here. Ten of cups and the magician. So somebody's trying to use a little bibbity bobbity boo. A little bit of click your heels together, grab they drawers and bury them in the backyard and go like a chicken three times. Oh, what a wicked web we weave when we practice to deceive. Oh, somebody was balancing really well for a while. <laughs> 
Oh, there's two of swords in this tower. What is this about? Somebody needs to come. Somebody's going to have to compromise. And they're going to have Libra energy. Ain't that a blimp? Man, this is definitely too good a contract. It's not giving... Well, I did pick up the energy of a marriage here. I feel like an illusion is fading when it comes down to a marriage, a partnership, how something came together. It could be a couple that gets money together through some sort of spiritual practice. Okay. So now going forward, there's going to be an energy of having to balance or compromise here. This is something that's unexpected. Okay. Page of Swords on the fence. Why is this here? You can show me what it is I need to see. Mm, my page of swords came out in one of these past readings. I didn't did like four, three, four, I don't even know. So this is around somebody's work. So some truth was revealed surrounding somebody's work that caused somebody to uh, back out. Um, this could be legal ramifications. This, uh, Oh, taking place or did in the past. Somebody received some bad news. Mm. So somebody was trying to challenge somebody's work or somebody was working in secret to cause some challenges in somebody's work. Oh, and there go there go the universal law card. Ooh, wait. So this is given very much return to sender. This is given very much you reap what you sow. This is giving me very much bad back and no take backs with the seven of cups and the tree of life. Oh, justice. Look, didn't I tell you to read what you sow now? Read what, read, read what you sow now. Be careful what you wish for because it may show up in your environment. The scales is balanced now. So if somebody did something to affect your work and, you know, it happened to them. Look at God. Nine of wands. Why is this here? You can show me what it is. Yeah, so I mean, you may have your boundaries up against this person. See, this is somebody that felt like they didn't, they they weren't gonna need you. Now, for some of you, you may not know this person. They may have benefited from your work, okay? But they was doing some deceitful. But the lovers and the six of cups. <laughs> you might be saying, "What? Well, why are you?" This is a soul. This is a soul man. So it can be platonic. This could be business. Okay. So if somebody was trying to benefit from your work without giving you accolades or giving this person accolades or even acknowledging, you know, like credits or something like that, it happened to them. So they got the energy back in a different form. Look at all these sixes. Um, so, you know, we're speaking about wish fulfillment. So this is this is somebody's wish fulfillment or it was someone's wish fulfillment. Um, I feel like they have to backtrack or whoever this is, they have to backtrack some kind of way. Yeah. That's what this is giving me. They may be having to go within mm -hmm. and heal something. Because we got, this is Virgo energy. Yeah, Virgo. So somebody's having to go within. Mm -hmm. About this contract. Maybe they're trying to figure out how to get this release from a contract this is somebody that lives a life a luxury or at least they want to maybe they thought they were going to gain something financially here off of somebody's work but you have like a, your boundaries up here this could be spiritual protection as well yeah that's what i'm getting typically you know, we're talking about the nine of pentacles. So we're talking about somebody that works alone. You know, but this could also be, I'm not too familiar with 
this uh, like the how about I put this? I'm not too familiar with the um, interpretation of this deck, but I'm I'm going by what I'm picking up here. Start. I keep getting six, 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 but these are nines. Okay, so this this is someone that has some sort of fame here. Or they wanted some. Maybe they even benefited off of someone else's work. Um, but somebody, whoever this is in the, this nine of coins energy, they have a strong defense. I'm here, mechanism. I feel like this is a reversal. Yeah. And they were working with three people. Or three people were working together. To, you know that power of three stuff. To cause the ending. There go the king of swords. Okay. I feel like the king of swords deals with mental confusion. And then we have the seven of swords. Oh, yeah. We're talking about thievery. Betrayal. Mental manipulation to keep somebody from moving forward. But somebody move forward anyway. Let's see. Yeah, because they have faith. Ain't that something? King of Wands. What? <laughs> so for some of you, this uh, King of Wands didn't know that these people that they were working with was working against them too. Judgment. Oh, man. <sighs> Three of Wands. I'm hearing, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. That's that page of swords energy. Either show me what it is. Tower. I'm, look, I'm only giving you the energy here. Look, I'm only giving you the energy. This is going to be pretty short and sweet here. Somebody wanted some form of status. You count on ones and you're watching. Yes, the people that you collaborated with are working against you. You may know that now. <laughs> it's definitely surrounded somebody's work. Look at that. Because you moved away. Or they wanted to keep you from moving away. Four of Wands. Why is this here? Either show me what it is I need to see. So we're talking about family and friends. Family and friends. You need to show me what it is I need to see. Of yours or someone else's. King of Cups and <laughs> So is it they tell it. They tell it here. Woo! Family and friends of the King of Cups. Mm, mm, I'm hearing uh, collaboration. Okay, I'm also hearing com 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 camarad com camaraderie com com camaraderie. <laughs> Y'all know I butchered that word, but it's like a frat or something, like a club <laughs> or or something like that. You, this could be a colleague that's facing judgment. Won't be here too long. A cancer could be involved as well. But judgment here. Um, could be a Scorpio, Sag, or somebody on the on the cusp. Why is King Cups here? I mean, go ahead and tell on them then. You know, you taking them, you take them knives out of my back. What they do? They smile in your face all the time. They want to take your place. Those backstabbers. Backstabbers. Ten of Swords. Mm. So what? Looky, looky here. So this person is having to take a break. Oh. Because they're getting that energy back. With the six of coins. 
queen of coins. What's the queen of coins looking at? <laughs> now, this could be you, Empress, building a strong foundation or somebody's spouse is looking at you. Trying to be like you. This, this is this is this is kind of freaky. I feel like I did a reading about a few months ago where the king, the queen of coins came out and then the queen of coins doppelganger came out. This is pertaining to that reading. Now, for some of you, of course, you are getting your bag, but this is somebody <laughs> that is trying to use your creativity to get something new. Manifest something new. Be prosperous in some kind of way. I feel like somebody's trying to back out, though. Ten of Swords in reverse. This King of, King of Cups is trying to back, back out. Now, for it to be fair, this could be um, several aspects of one person, like the Emperor. If this is somebody's divine masculine or masculine right this person is backing out of a collaboration or something deceitful that they were participating in they're speaking a truth and standing on truth here king of swords why is this here come on man we got temperance <laughs> temperance this person isn't protected or they weren't protected they're not going to take the fall for somebody else Okay. It's like a domino effect. It's trickling down. It's going from one person. So it's like the divine is allowing someone to see. Like it's going from one from our final destination, child. So it's like they are watching the destruction of someone's foundation. And then it happens to another person. And then it happens to another person. This is interesting. <laughs> it's not funny. Look, it's not funny, y'all, but I picked from the bottom of the deck. I just said it. It was destruction. I just said that. This destruction has to do with some sort of collaboration. Okay. Somebody collaborating against someone that works independently. I know this person don't want to come in and give you an offer or they are regretting not giving you an offer. Yeah, they're regretting not giving. Uh, this is somebody that's very egotistical. Um, yeah. Oh, why is this two of swords here? Either show me what it is I need to see. I didn't get enough uh, behind the scenes reading. It's only a couple of reverse cards, so hopefully no more reversals come out. Five is the limit. That's what I heard. <laughs> one, two, three, four. Okay. So five, one, five come out in reverse. That means I'm going behind the scenes. I believe the last reading had a lot of fives, but it could have been the reading before last. Two of Swords, why is this here? Self-indulgence, self-centered. <laughs> okay, so it's like, okay, someone's dealing with a succubus that also came out in the behind the scenes uh, reading here. This person is very focused on you and this person as well. They may, they may be a part of this uh, debauchery. Two of Swords, why is this here? Somebody don't want to compromise in this situation. Maybe somebody's taking a proposal back. Yeah. Be lighthearted. Tower, clarifying the tower. 
some sort of transformation. Um, something about something being legit. Could have something to do with a marriage. I did share on my community tab about a bigamist. This could be an unexpected change at the last minute. What's at the bottom? Sorry, not sorry. Oh, somebody's sorry now. They're sorry now. This is giving me flying monkey. Somebody came in and did something on the guys that they wanted to show that they were loyal. They were different from whoever this was. And so this person was operating out of a hurt space. Okay. This is someone that was competing for some sort of contract and or place. Okay. So they were trying to prove their loyalty to someone by doing something uh, diabolical. Eight of coins. Why is this here? You can show me what it is I need to see. That wicked card. And I just seen a proposal. Love call. <laughs> okay. Somebody may have <clears throat> came in uh, really quickly, really hastily. And they wanted to reach out to you. Now, if this person is watching you work, they participate in, in some sort of slide, a slander and manipulation surrounding some work. Okay, somebody's upset because of some work that was being done. But what I'm getting is there was some sort of confrontation. You may have had a call with this person. Are there some sort of call taking place, text message, whatever? Okay, and there was some sort of altercation. Somebody ended up heartbroken. They end up uh, having to have their defenses up. They may have... Withdrew an offer. Somebody got canned here. Yeah, friendship. You know, y'all know that's the groom, right? But y'all, some of y'all know that's my best man card. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Nine of Wands. Why is this here? Keep it showing. Reckless. Karmic relationship. Either somebody you work with, worked with, somebody was doing some work on you, or somebody that lied about some work that they did. This could be uh, somebody taking credit for somebody else's work. We got karmic relationship and we got mirror. So I feel like you are mirroring your true divine counterpart. You may have started healing. Um, and this person started healing as well. Somebody's not so good parts of themselves was being mirrored back to them through somebody's work. Somebody felt less worthy in a situation. Um, so they had to overcome. Okay. My eyes is going up here to this eight of swords. Somebody had to overcome something, release something free themselves from something and they went through a rebirth and I feel like it's these this karmic people I feel like they were in denial yeah there was a lot of partying that took place amongst this group one for this hermit why is this here you can show me what it is I need to see come on at least they ain't come let, let me not say that bride and tea Cats out the bag. Somebody was a little bit flirtatious. Somebody, they, they, they're going through their mental roller days like, I remember when, say it ain't so. Somebody's realizing something. Look at that. And I seen that, the bag, bag. No take bags. Oh, we. If this is somebody that participated in blocking off your finances in your relationship, they were in a karmic partnership. You possibly triggered this person so they wanted to team up against you, but they are realizing that they teamed up against the wrong person. You or whoever this is was actually helping, helping them. Helping them. Ain't that how it... King of Cups on top of his four of wands. Why is this here? We didn't already establish that was a change in uh, this collaboration here. Either show me what it is I need to see for this King of Cups on top of relationship evolving a new phase. 
somebody thought that they had a twin. <laughs> it's not like somebody thought they had a twin or they was a twin. As a matter of fact, before I stopped the camera, I want I was going to address that. That this person, people see this person as an emperor, a divine masculine, but they have a mask on. They have a mask on here. So maybe because they have money or they appear like they have money. So people assume that they are a divine masculine, especially if they're attractive. This will only be people that, that vibrate really low. So they have a misconception of what the journey is or what ascension is. Obviously, that's not going to be for everybody, but somebody is not. I'm here a master. Now, they, they wicked. But they're not a master here. Mm, child. I'm just going to go ahead and say this may be somebody that do Twin Flame readings. Or they get readings on Twin Flames. Mm, this person is not an ascended soul. Mm -mm, not with ascending here on the fence and judgment. This mm, Somebody's in denial. Like It's like somebody... I'm going to, whoever it is that they get some sort of wake up call. I feel like this is a collective of people. Ooh -wee. Um, King of Swords, why is this here? I can't get what they do. They smile in your face all the time. They want to take your place. Every time I look at that King of Cups with that Ten of Swords right there. Uh, King of Swords. Either show me what it is. I need to see. Look. Oh, come on, man. Falsified documents. I get to the end. You know, that's the spirit, you know. And, you know, before I move on, a lot of people have a lot to say about tarot readers or people that practice spirituality. They say things like you're talking to spirits. But when you, when you call on the Holy Spirit, Ain't they talking to a spirit? Or when you, I'm hearing false prophets. When you follow a false prophet and they give you a doctrine, don't they communicate with spirits? I mean, I'm trying to figure out, or is it just a relationship of convenience, right? Ooh, we. Mm, mm, mm. Friendship in reverse. Passion in reverse. This is giving me wicked. So somebody lost their passion, creativity, chemistry. Oh, they don't. Oop. I'm trying to tell you somebody. Did you know this person was into you? I'm just trying to ask a friend. Because y'all know. Did you meet this person at a restaurant or they give you good tips? Somebody gets good tips from someone. Oh. I heard guilty pleasure when I look at uh, escape. Child, mm -mm, we need some uh, some of these cards here. I did not want to go behind the scenes. I mean, I love my membership, but these reads be draining, y'all. Um, but I wanted to get out these readings, <laughs> surrender resentments, the obsessive thinking. This is somebody going with. Either taking a lot of information from someone or somebody that's constantly being tempted by information and, and like resentful of somebody that speaks the truth or a truth of who they are. Um, back to what I was saying. I wanted to get these reading out that these readings are being done on a Friday. Not quite sure. Surrender unhealthy relationships. When this reading is coming out, possibly Sunday or Monday. Um, Mirror Garden. <laughs> so, yeah, summertime, baby. We, we, we about to hit summer solstice here. Something could be playing out by autumn. This is giving me the, that lunar eclipse energy as well. Um, mirror garden, take time to reflect summer, bask in the joy and light and autumn, release the old and rest. This is giving me very much, um, people whose signs fall in autumn 
and people who signs fall in summer. They're going to have denial. Hey, and I'm not talking about Egypt. Here we got the hunter. Track down your fear. Somebody's definitely praying for forgiveness. Child. Surrender your fear of change. Oh, why when I looked at that card, I, I got that. Somebody's into music. <laughs> Somebody communicates through music. Somebody has a podcast or a show or something like that. We got, uh, oh, before I move on, I heard, if you want to ride, then, then ride the Y. Ain't that about substances? I got to look up the lyrics of that song. I'm going to share it on the community uh, board here. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you are afraid of a change in your job, your health, or relationship, or if you fear aging or unalive, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. Oh, so something is about to change. A friendship, okay, somebody's finances, a relationship. All right, so those of you that are members, I'll see you on the other side. If you'd like to become a member, hit that join button. A link for part two will be in the description box below. You can also go to my main channel page, click on those uh, membership readings, and they'll give you the options. Deuces.